So we have this function get course info. We are passing this course, which is the complete card. And we're gonna make some, uh, we're gonna write a code that is going to extract the code information. So we're gonna remove this and remove this. And first we're gonna create an object. So we're gonna create an object with course data. So it's going to be like this, const course info, and it's going to be equals to the object. Remember the object and the array, they have difference, but one of these is that the object will have these curly braces and also will have these properties. So we're gonna add image. The image is going to be equals to the course. Uh, remember, we're passing the complete card. So that's going to be available. Uh, the world uh, content is going to be available and we can use query selector. In query selector, we can add, for example, IMG and I need the, the path to the image so we can add SRC. Then we add a comma. Then we need the title of the course. So we're gonna add course again, query selector, and we're gonna, uh, well, let's see, for example, first. Let's open this and you can see the title of the course is using a h4, so we're gonna add h4. Comma right here and we're gonna add the price. Price is going to be equal to course, and query selector again. And the price that we are interested is this one inside the span. So we're gonna add query selector, class price, and also the span. But we need to add the text content. And here on the H4, we also need to grab the, H con the text content and dot and text content like this. We need only the data. Uh, and the other way, uh, we're going to extract also the, the tag. And finally, I want to add the ID. If you take a look here on the anchor, we have this attribute that is called data ID. So we're going to add ID. It's going to be equals to course, a dot, query selector, and we're gonna select the anchor. Then we're gonna get the attribute, get attribute. And it's going to be data dash ID. So then we can send this to the console just to check our object course info. And save this and clicking one of these. And you can see we have the object. You can see we have the ID number two. We also have the image, the price, and the title is this cooking course. So the object is looking nice. So now that we have this object, I'm gonna call another function. Insert into the shopping cart. And this is going to be called add into cart. And we're gonna pass this object. So we need to write this function. This is going to display the selected course into the shopping cart. So we need to write this function, function, add to cart, and this is going to take a course also. And this object is going to be passed into this function, this wall object. And then we're gonna create a TR. If you take a look here on the index and scroll to the top, we're looking for this shopping cart. This is a div, but it contains this table and we have this table body. At the moment, this is empty, but we're going to insert the courses, the courses right here. And we need to use a table row for each of the courses that we're going to add into the shopping cart. So we're going to add const. It's going to be equals to a row. Let me center this a little. Then this is going to be equals to document. And we're going to use again, create element. We're going to create a table row. And then we're gonna build the template from the course object that we pass into this function. So we're gonna use row dot, and we're gonna use inner HTML. This is going to print the HTML from this template string or template literal, something like this. Remember to use the back tip. Uh, single quotes doesn't work with template literals. 